Who are you wearing? A beautiful dress. What am I wearing? Good for you. Don't ask me. We don't. Right. <laughs> Somehow someone didn't Sorry, tell us. Hey, that's all right. Because I don't know. Other people dress me yeah, like, a like a baby or something. Dad. Our cat with boyhood. I have to ask you, how would you describe this season? It's got to have been a lot of fun. I think you are, you are, you have won everything everywhere, right? It's got to be a nice way to go about it. Well, it's amazing because to be a part of this movie, which is such an exceptional movie, because it's it's a simple story and it's so difficult to make an exceptional project, an exceptional film about a very ordinary story. And we very rarely see American middle class families celebrated in film or explored in film. And I think that's why people have felt so much about this movie and been moved. I've had people call me and say that they called their mom or they decided not to get divorced or they decided to have children. I mean, to move people emotionally with a film that also has broken the history of film. I mean, no one has ever done this before. And for Rick to choose to do so with this subject matter, that's important. Ordinary people matter. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one of the one of the really nice things this season, I've I've kind of quietly been on the same beat as you guys covering all the stops. And some people, you know, they show up and it's almost like it's a grind to be there. But you are enthusiastically cheering everybody else the whole way. And I think it's wh where does that come from? Well, I think it comes from the fact that I've been in this business for a really long time. I've worked with a lot of people in the room um, that I really appreciate the fact that I've had a good career, but I never imagined this moment, especially for this movie, that means so much to me because, like I said, to be a part of film history, to, to work with someone like Richard Linkletter that changes the language of film, that shows film companies hey, people do want to see movies that you don't think they want to see. People are interested in other human beings. And also to show the world. This was, is very, this is what the American middle class is like. It's not what you imagine from our politicians. It's not what you imagine from what you see on TV. And just as a final thing, uh, I can't help but wonder, so we, this has been 12 years of your life. Where, what do you hope will be going on in your life 12 years from now? What about, I'll be 58. Well, I might get a grandkid out of it. <laughs> By then, my son will be, yeah, my son will be 38. I, I'm hoping to have a little grandbaby. All right. I'm going to do free babysitting, but <laughs> I have no rules. Right. Grandma can give them, like, donuts and we'll stay up all night watching cartoons. Right. It's going to be a blast. Awesome. Well, yeah. have fun. Thank you for coming. Thanks. We appreciate it.